Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to run GeoFS faster if you have a gaming laptop. First of all, just a bit of background. Um, almost all gaming laptops manufactured from 2016 onwards have two graphics cards. The first one is the Intel um, built-in uh, GPU and the second one is the NVIDIA graphics card. The Intel one focuses on power saving whilst the NVIDIA one focus, focuses on performance. There are graphics drivers in the system that cooperates those two graphic card and assign them to different applications depending on your need. Unfortunately, uh, such driver can sometimes hurt us when we are running GeoFS in the way that GeoFS is unable to utilize the more powerful NVIDIA graphics card. Before we start, we should first check that our computer meets the hardware requirements. Press Control, Shift, Escape on your keyboard to bring up the Task Manager. Click the Performance tab and on the left side you should find two GPUs, one Intel and one Nvidia. If this is the case for you, you're in the right video. Otherwise, this tutorial does not apply to you. Now let's close out of that and open your web browser. Go on GeoFS and launch the game. Once the game is fully loaded, you can pause the game and open options. Click on Debug Info and on the left side you could see Unmasked Renderer WebGL and it says Intel UHD Graphics. This means that the 3D engine behind all the inner workings of GeoFS, which is WebGL, is currently using the Intel graphics card. Also, on the upper right side, you can find the frame time and FPS counter. This shows you how smooth GeoFS is currently running. As you see right now, it is running at a steady 20 to 30 FPS. After our little modification, you will see this frame counter increase, meaning smoother animation and better performance. Let's close out of your web browser. We need to modify some configuration in the NVIDIA control panel, which can be found in the Windows Start menu. Click on N and it should be right in front of you. Click on the video control panel. On the left side, click Manage 3D Settings. Then click Program Settings. Once it has fully loaded, click Add. And in this massive pop-up, you should find your own browser that you normally use to run GeoFS. I normally use Firefox to play on GeoFS. But for you, you may be using Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Opera. In whichever case, choose the browser that you use. Then click Add Selected Program. Click on the second drop-down and switch it from 
integrated graphics to high performance NVIDIA processor. Finally, click apply. Once it has been applied, close the control panel and open your browser and go on GeoFS again. This time if you open options, debug info, now you should find that our masked renderer WebGL is now NVIDIA GeForce GTX, which means that we have successfully switched from Intel to NVIDIA graphics. This means we enjoy better performance for our flight simulator at the cost of more power usage and shorter battery life. However you will interpret this is up to you, but for me, my frame rate increased from 30 FPS all the way to 6, 60 FPS, which means a increase in performance and gives me smoother animation. Overall makes my flat simulator flying experience better, so I think this is well worth it. I hope this video is helpful to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.